Hello everyone, welcome to my channel English for IT Professionals. My name is Terry. In this lesson, we have a lesson about how to talk about deploying apps in the cloud. This lesson is a special request or suggestion by my Udemy student Nam Tran. I'm sorry about the pronunciation of your name. Here is your lesson. Oh, it's, it's the best pronunci pronunciation I can do. Quick introduction, my name is Terry. I'm an English teacher from Ireland. I can speak French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. And I have almost 15 years professional experience. I'm also a Udemy instructor with almost 200,000 students. I have courses about job interviews, grammar, software engineering. You can find all of this in the link tree and buy a course, support my work. So let's start with the lesson. And the first part of the lesson is I want to look at a little bit of the vocabulary, the deployment pipeline, CI, CD, staging environment, production environment, and rollback. Now, the number one thing is pronunciation. I think if you are watching this video and you're a backend or you're a developer or you're a developer, you probably know this, but it's the pronunciation. Deployment pipeline. So the important part with the word deployment, you can see one word is in big letters. Deployment, not deployment, but deployment. Deployment pipeline. Deployment pipeline. CICD, continuous integration, continuous deployment. So again, the pronunciation CICD, continuous integration, continuous deployment. Staging environment. So let's go slow. First is stage. They have this sound here, j, j, staging, staging environment. So it's environment, environment, okay? Production environment. So it's production, that last syllable is shun, environment. And then we have a word which is important, which is a rollback. So you can use it as a verb to roll back or to do or to perform a rollback. You can see both and you can use both. So as part of this lesson, I want to look at three phrase templates, as in three phrases that have a, a, use, a useful structure, a good structure that we can learn to start to use in your own sentences and in your own developer meetings. So the first phrase, just to confirm, you need a deployment pipeline that pushes changes through CICD all the way to production, correct? So let's look at this phrase piece by piece. When we look at this phrase, the situation is clarify the deployment request. When it happens, now in detail, we look at the situation, when it happens, and why it matters. You will use this phrase when you want to clarify the deployment request. You will use it in a kickoff call or ticket grooming. And this confirms scope and avoids building the wrong pipeline. So the first part here is just to confirm. And you can, so the pronunciation is confirm, okay, confirm. And then you can also say just to check or just to double check. It's very co common to say double check. You need a pipe, you need a development pipeline you want a development pipeline, you would like a development pipeline, you're asking for a development pipeline. They're all variations of the same idea, but just to be clear that you can use different verbs, you can start to substitute different verbs, need, want, would like, and asking for. And the next really important word in this kind of phrase is that, okay? Now with the pronunciation, you have the TH, okay? Where it's that, where it's like a little vibration, that. Now, it's very important this word in this phrase because you want a deployment pipeline that. And it's incorrect to not put the word that in this case. It is technically possible to use which in this case, but that is much more natural and sounds the right way. But if we compare these two sentences, you need a deployment pipeline that runs tests automatically. If you compare the phrase here, you need a development pipeline runs tests automatically. Without the word that, it 
feels disconnected. It feels like the phrase is not connected. So the word that here, we use it to give more information about the thing we just said. So it's a development pipeline. Okay, what kind of development pipeline? It's a development pipeline that runs tests automatically. So when you have that runs tests, tells us more information and tells us which pipeline. Pushes changes through CICD all the way to production. So we've three different verbs here. Pushes changes, sends code, or moves updates. And you can see that the letter S is in capitals. It's in the big letters. So this is one of the most common mistakes that I hear with students where people say a phrase like, I, we need a development pipeline that push changes. So one of the most common things to forget this third person, he, she, it. So a singular must have S. Now, if we look here, for example, you need a development pipeline that pushes changes, singular with the S. But if you said you need development pipelines that push changes, that's correct because development pipelines is plural. But if it's singular, you must have the S. And you can see the final sentence here. This is the incorrect version where you need a development pipeline that push changes is not correct. So we have the three verbs or three terms, pushes, changes, sends, code, moves, updates with the S. And the next word here is through. So there are two pronunciations of TH. One is like we saw with that is more of a vibration. This more is about like air, just about breathing through you put the tip the pump just at this point of your tongue here on the teeth as through now i know in the writing you can see gh at the end of the word the pronunciation is through like we have the verb to throw as in to throw something but it's the past tense is i threw so it's the same pronunciation so for example, the request goes through the API gateway before reaching the server. The data flows through multiple microservices. So you see, it is an important word in IT. And then through is the idea of movement inside and across. It's like the idea of like moving from one side of something to the other. The classic example in English grammar is to walk through the park. Because if you have a park, you, their parks are different shapes, different sizes. But if you have a park that's like just square and you enter the square one side and you leave one square the other side, you walk through the park. Same here with like through the CICD from the build, test, deploy, production. Yeah. So just some examples now with this phrase template, just to check. You want a deployment pipeline that runs unit tests automatically before moving changes through CI/CD, right? Just to double check, you're asking for a deployment setup that rolls back changes if something fails during the CI/CD process, correct? Just to confirm, you would like a deployment pipeline that sends code through staging before promoting it to production, right? Okay, now it's your turn. You need to write a phrase using this template in your own words, okay? You can write it in the comments. Phrase template two, when you want to verify or check the release destination. So this is the phrase, checking one last time. This release is moving from staging to production, right? And if we look at this phrase of the situation is when you want to check, double check the release destination, when it happens is right before clicking deploy and it prevents misdeploying to the wrong environment. It prevents mistakes. So as we look at piece by piece of this phrase, just to check one last time. Okay. So you say just to check, just to make sure one last time or just one final check is this final moment before you click deploy. So you're double checking. This release is moving from staging to production. This release is going from staging to production. We're moving this version from staging to production. This update is being deployed from staging to production. So you have four different verbs or ways or ideas of saying basically the same thing. So you can move from stage to production. The release is going from, we're moving this version from, 
And then you can see, because you have the verb deploy, and then the past tense, or past participle, deployed. So you can talk about the update is being deployed. We call this the passive voice. And then from staging to production, the other possibilities are from development to staging, from test to production, from QA to staging. So there's different possibilities. From shows origin. It shows the idea, like from staging to production. In some languages, the word of and from are the same word, so you have to be a little bit careful. But the idea of like showing the origin, showing from where the code is being deployed. So some examples of this phrase. So some examples using this phrase template. Just making sure one last time, this release is going from staging to production, right? One final check, this update is being deployed from QA to staging, correct? Checking one last time, we're moving this version from development to staging, right? Okay, now it's your turn to write your own version in pen and paper or in the comments below this video. Phrase template three, when we want to raise an issue and suggest a fix, unit tests are failing on the release branch, I recommend pausing the rollout and rolling back to the previous build. So we will use this kind of phrase when we want to flag. Flag is to show or to, like it's a, a common feature in Jira or whatever. To flag a deployment problem and suggest a fix. When is during or right after a run. And why it matters, it identifies the issue early and offers action. So let's see step by step. Unit tests are failing, so the pronunciation, failing on the release branch. The release branch is showing failed unit tests, or we're seeing test failures on the release branch. So if we have this verb to fail, we also have three different versions. So you can just say the tests are failing, or you could say the, release, the branch is showing failed tests or we are seeing test failures. So th this is when you want to flag and talk about um, a failure or a problem. It's three little expressions to, to suggest to talk about that. To fail is a verb. The pronunciation of the past tense is failed. Failed. Failed does not exist. And then the noun to have a failure. So one, one more time, pronunciation is to fail, failed, failure, okay? If it's a little bit difficult, listen and repeat. Fail, failed, failure, okay? Now, when we want to make a suggestion or talk about what we think, what we recommend, we have a little bit of grammar with these verbs. So we have I recommend and I suggest. If you look at the next verb, you can see it's pausing. So the verb pause and ing. I recommend pausing the rollout, and I, or I suggest holding off on the rollout. Now, the difference between to pause and to hold off is really to temporarily stop something. You pause it, like pause a video, pause the YouTube video, with the intention of continuing it later. To hold off is to delay, postpone, or wait before doing something, usually the idea to wait for a better time or more information, especially if you're waiting for more information from a, a different team, from QA, you're waiting for more tests, you're hold off on something because you're not ready, can't continue. So as we look again at recommend and suggest, you can see here two of the most common examples of errors or common problems. I recommend pausing the rollout. Now, if you look at I recommend pause, or I recommend to pause, they are both incorrect. In this case, it's some of the most common ways we see students look with I recommend pause, not I recommend pausing. Now, I understand this isn't the most natural thing, especially a lot of verbs in other languages don't use the ing in the special ways in English we do. Now, What's important to understand here, if you have here, for example, I recommend pausing the rollout. It is possible if you add the word like you or we or they, you add a pronoun and then a verb, right? I recommend you pause the rollout. I recommend we pause the rollout. Now look carefully now that if you add you or we, the pronouns, 
now the ing is incorrect. Hmm? So the first idea is I recommend pausing the rollout or I recommend you pause the rollout. But if you add you or we, you cannot use ing. So I recommend you pause, not pausing. And the exact same thing happens with the verb suggest. The pronunciation is suggest, suggest. I suggest holding off on the rolled out. And to say I suggest hold off, suggest to hold off are both incorrect. Now again, if you add you or we, I suggest you hold off or I suggest we hold off. And as we look here at rolling back to the previous build, we have different ways to express this idea. Rolling back to the previous build, reverting. So to revert is the same idea of like roll back is to go back. Reverting to the aerial build and going back to the last stable version. Another verb that's useful here is switch back, which means they are all basically the same idea. There's not much difference here, but and switching back to the previous deployment. So some examples here. The release branch is showing failed unit tests. I recommend pausing the rollout and reverting to the earlier build. We are seeing test failures on the release branch. I suggest holding off on the rollout and switching back to the previous deployment. Unit tests are failing on the release branch. I recommend pausing the rollout and going back to the last stable version. Okay guys, now it's your turn. Write your examples in the comments so I can give you some feedback and I hope this really helps you. If you're enjoying this, uh, especially you Nam Tran, I hope this is useful. This is video one of a total of three videos for you. Please click like, subscribe, tell a friend about this channel and don't forget you can find me and my courses on Udemy and Udemy Business. I have some amazing courses, English for software engineers, English for job interviews, English for grammar and speaking secrets. I will be very very happy to see you on Udemy. Thank you so much for watching. Again click like, subscribe, tell a friend and I'll see you guys in the next video.